it's full quality, same resolution. Render that, it'll render quickly. And then this is also very important. It won't work at all if you don't do this. What you want is you also want one of these, but you want it to be completely white. So the easiest thing to do for this is I made just a white color that's the exact same resolution and if I shake this away I can plug that into the switch mat instead and after the quick paint there's the outline of him move 2D so that's really nice and I'm just gonna make another file out node running Lewis apparate one white and what this is the white will tell it what the density is so that'll actually create the fluid and then the colored one will actually just add color to the fluid so it's not just white smoke puffing up but it actually looks like they're puffing into smoke um, so set this to a JPEG and render that file out node 109 through 109 so for now we're done in Shake. I'm going to go into Maya right now and um, yeah, it renders that out. Should be both done now. Now in Maya, you have the choice here. Depending on the look you're going, both of them look pretty good. You can either do a 2D fluid or a 3D fluid. Um, and 2D fluid, you get a little more swirl, a little more definition. Some of them in the video I showed you at the beginning were actually 2D fluids, and they kind of stick around more. Um, and they look a little bit flatter, but they actually look fairly good. Um, they look like smoke. If, if you want a little more of the 3D look, you won't get quite as much defined swirl, but if you create a 3D fluid container. That, that's what I'm going to show you how to do here. It's pretty much more or less the same. So, what I did is create, went to create 3D container, and I don't want an emitter because I'm going to do it myself. Um, and then, yeah, I just went into and created it like that. Um, and then I went over and my footage is HD 720, so 1280 by 720, so I made that the size so it's not stretched or anything. And then I added a little bit of depth to the container. You can see it's not, because that's going to be how thick he is. And you can get it, if you press front, you can get it right on there. And then I, I just made this resolution here, 256 by 145 by 20, kind of mathematically fitting with those numbers. Um, yeah, boundary X, Y, Z, those are good. And this was closed originally. Um, yeah, these are good. Density, dynamic grid, velocity, dynamic grid, those are both good. Now, here's an important step. You go to Fluid Effects, Add Edit Contents, Paint Fluids Tool. This, uh, this is a pretty cool tool. You can actually paint on the fluids you want. But what else is really cool if you go into your tool set over here, paintable attributes. So we want to start with density, so that's going to paint the fluid on there. And we scroll down and we go under attribute maps, we go attribute maps, import. And then we should be able to find our image. In this one, we want to do the white one. And on my external hard drive, you want to best guess, works fine. Um, and let's see. Running Lewis Apparate 1 White is what we want. We want to import that. And give it a second. And you want to hit 5 on the keyboard to go into shaded mode, otherwise you won't be able to see anything. It took me a while to figure that out originally, so once that imports you want to go into shaded mode and then it should pop up in your container. I don't know, this is taking a bit of time. I'm 
to load right now. But yeah, we hit five, go into shaded move and mode, and there he is in white. Now we want to go into color. And it'll go dark. We want to import folder, best guess. Yeah. So we want running lose operate one. This one's in color. It's, uh, there we go. Um, so it's in color, and if we click on this, um, I've got the fluid set pretty high, so that's probably affecting the performance. And there we go. We have it in color. I'm gonna go back into our attribute editor up here, and. The most important thing we want to look at is contents details. This has all the important ones. The most important is density and velocity. And then turbulence is also important. And the other ones don't really affect it very much. Um, dynamic simulation, you can affect gravity. I like just having it at 9.8. That works a lot like... Um, under density, it works a lot like buoyancy. Um, and density scale, that affects how thick your smoke is, but it also kind of puts a black edge around. So you don't really want that once we go into compositing. We want to just leave it at the default because that's how thick the edges were there, so we don't have it around the edges. And we don't want any diffusion because that. Um, give it a second to. Um, or dissipation actually will add big lines around the edges um, once it plays. Um, diffusion, or, no, that should be it. Dissipation is how long before the smoke goes away, and since it's a 3D, it'll go away pretty fast, so we don't need to turn that up anymore. Diffusion should add things around the edge, but we don't want any of that. It looks bad. It's a lot like cranking up the density scale and adds a blur to the edge. Um, and what's really important is swirl. This is what really gives it the smoky thing. It kind of, it looks somewhat like smoke without swirl, but it's just big chunks. It doesn't really separate out. It kind of puffs up like that. So unless you're going for one big swirl here, which looks alright, but I would say not nearly as good. You want to set swirl, and um, we have to see. I did it for a different clip, and I use these settings, so I'll probably want to play blast that and make sure it still looks good for this one. Um, but um, well, if you put swirl too high, It'll just all the pixels will separate, and you just get this huge blob of pixels out. You can try that. So you, I found the best one is you want to find the highest value where it gives a lot of definition and a lot of swirl, but where it doesn't separate out. Um, because there's a lot easier ways to get that pixel separation look without going into Maya fluids, because and without longer render times. And Turbulence, you don't want that too high. I like having my turbulence fast. I just added a little bit of strength and a little bit of frequency to that um, to switch it up a little bit. And I haven't tested these yet. So buoyancy is how fast it goes up. And I think when you do a higher buoyancy value, it kind of also pushes it out to the sides a bit. But since this is a 3D fluid container, um, the smoke will kind of go away more quickly and we'll get a quicker effect, whereas if it was 2D, 2D, it would kind of swirl around there for a while before going away and would stay there. So, um, oh yeah. So since it's a 3D, you can see it actually has some thickness here. He's actually painted it all the way back, which is good. Um, just adds a little bit of 3D-ness. 